All right, next question comes from Peter in Texas. I know LSU fans are happy with Brian Kelly, but do you think they are just defending him, again, because they are worried about the public backlash if they start questioning him? I'm assuming, Peter, that this is a question that kind of revolves around the comments that went viral from Brian Kelly last week. The problem is if you actually listened to what he said, the comments had no reason to go viral. It's just people are looking for low-hanging fruit and bottom feeder topics as it relates to NIL and paying players. I think Brian Kelly's a really good coach. He won a lot of games at Notre Dame when people said it couldn't be done anymore. He revitalized that program and became a steady player in the college football playoff conversation. And now he takes over at LSU and has won 10 games in consecutive years. He's had a Heisman Trophy winner. And I don't really know what there is to be negative about with Brian Kelly. Like he won 10 games. He's been to the SEC championship game already. Yes, he will have to replace Jaden Daniels. Yes, I think personally, uh, Nussmeyer is going to be very well equipped to take over that position. They have great weapons on the perimeter. Now it's about figuring things out on the defensive side. And if I look back at his teams at Notre Dame, how often was defense a huge liability? It wasn't. It wasn't at all. And I think he went out and hired a really good defensive coordinator in Blake Baker. So I don't think as far as the playing field is concerned, I don't think LSU is in a bad spot whatsoever. They're going to continue to win. And to win 10 games a year in the SEC is pretty dang hard to do. But as it relates to the paying players conversation, which is where I think a lot of the negativity around Brian Kelly this offseason has surrounded him. But I, I listen to his comments and I don't, get the sense that he's not supportive of NIL. I see the headlines. I see the stories. I see what people are saying. Oh, he's going to get sued. Oh, he's going to do this. LSU is not in NIL. Yeah, they are. There are plenty of guys at LSU under Brian Kelly's leadership that have done really well when it comes to NIL. But what he said is he's not going to be in the business of, of buying players. I think what that means, the way I interpret it, is that he is not going to be real excited about bringing in a player that's number one priority is maximizing his NIL value. Now, NIL will be there for you. If you choose LSU, you will have access to NIL opportunities, but that can't be the sole reason why you're choosing to go to LSU over the other places that you're considering. So I think that's the way I understand it. That's the way I interpreted his comments. People might see it differently. I respectfully disagree. I know LSU has long been a player in the NIL world since it got thrust into the spotlight a few years back. They're going to continue to be a player in the NIL world, but Brian Kelly wants to prioritize the players that want to win, that want to do things a certain way, that want to buy into the culture that he's creating there in Baton Rouge, more so than the guys that are looking for the top possible dollars available in the NIL via the portal or via recruiting. So, I think Brian Kelly is perfectly within his right to say what he said. I didn't view it as a negative. Uh, I viewed it more as, hey, yes, we want you to get as much money as you can, but if that's your sole reason for choosing us, then this might not be the place for you. 